You know what? Whether you can see me or not, <laughs> Brady, vindicated, baby, vindicated. Four game suspension nullified by Richard Berman, judge. Screw you, Goodell. See you week next Thursday, Tommy boy, versus the Steelers. Woohoo! Man, hey, hey, Colts, you should take that finalist banner down now. Ha ha ha! Love it! Here you go, with the crappiest network, but it's the only one reporting right now, so let's go. Let's go, Brady! Hashtag Brady Freed. Woo! Brady Vindicated. Hashtag Brady Vindicated. Woo! Sweet day. Sweet day. Screw you, Goodell. You should be fired. Bye bye. Two things I think are important to Bears. We're waiting to actually see the language again. He just joined Associated Press is reporting that Judge Berman has ruled what? in favor of Tom Brady, negating his four-game suspension. We have yet to see... The, do we have it? Do we have it yet? Yes, we have, it's confirmed. It, all right, it's, it is confirmed. Confirmed! Uh, independently, so we can tell you that. What? Two things. Uh, the National Football League will likely appeal to the Second Circuit, uh, where they, I think, have a great deal of confidence that they're in a much firmer uh, legal avenue there, in a much more friendly uh, ballpark, if you will. Uh, and secondly, Adam, let's years. put this, and I know you, you, we're all trying to do ten things at once, so you're yes. trying to work your sources, but let's put this in perspective. Major defeat, at least right now, Woo! for Roger Goodell in a litany, in a litany of his disciplinary actions that have been undone by outside parties, the Flategate, Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson, Greg Hardy, go back to Starcaps, and again, the power of the commissioner has been undone, at least for now, pending a National Football League appeal by an outside authority, in this case, uh, Judge Richard Berman. Bob, I think there are two major takeaways from this. Number one, Tom Brady is now going to be allowed to play the first four games. And number two, a week from tonight beginning. A week from tonight. Number two, the NFL is going to come under heavy criticism because it has lost a key case again. Just as it lost the Bounty Gate case as that was overturned, just as Ray Rice was overturned, yep. just as Greg Hardy was overturned, just as Adrian Peterson was overturned, and both sides in this particular case, Bob, <laughs> were all in. Both sides unwilling to compromise. The NFL refused to give ground. The NFL PA and Tom Brady refused to give ground. Both thought that they had a valid argument. And ultimately, in the end, Tom Brady gets the victory yeah. over the NFL. That's an embarrassment for the NFL. Woo! The NFL got to pick the courthouse. They chose <laughs> New York. And not only did they pick the courthouse, what they did, and we have the decision here, and Roger and Andrew are going through it. We're gonna, it, it this will be fascinating because the way the league, I would assume, has taken over the legal Colts here will make very interesting reading uh, and will sit pretty well in Patriot Nation. But the league affirmatively decided we're going to go to court to have Goodell's decision affirmed. <laughs> they didn't have to do that. That's how confident they said. Ooh. Not only is Goodell suspending you, Tom Brady, but we're taking our lawyers downtown to Foley Square, Pearl Street, and we're <laughs> going to get a judge to affirm this. Oops. We're picking Oopsie. the courthouse. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. They went into New York, and from the moment Judge Berman began the questioning, and I remember him saying at the outset, Bob, Please do not yeah. interpret my remarks <laughs> and think that they reflect on my way of thinking. It did. But they did. Yep. Because the more he spoke, the more you could tell the NFL. that he did not believe the evidence, yep. he did not believe the procedures, he did not believe Woo! the end result, he did not it's believe scam. anything. And I sat there thinking, Sting. and again, yeah. I have not covered too many federal court cases in my time. Why would the NFL be unwilling to budge yep. and settle? when the judge clearly, clearly <laughs> is coming out against them. Uh -huh. And it was exactly what we thought it was. Victory. He did not buy the merits of the case. And now the NFL is probably going to appeal this. We expect oh, that to be the case do that for the Second see. Circuit. And they have a higher degree of confidence there. That That's will, fine, but it'll be the course, course of this too season. Late. And let me say this too, Bob. I think, I seat, think seat Tom Brady, in the back of his mind, <laughs> all along, was very confident and yep. expected to win this ruling, mm -hmm. yep. and he expected the NFL to appeal it, and he expects that case to be heard at some point this season. So Tom Brady's gambling to a certain extent that he's going to play now, whereas he could wind up sitting out games yeah, later exactly. this season. There was no certitude for the Patriots. No, no. That certitude goes away as the appeal continues. We, we have the decision. Um, and there are a lot of things we're going to be talking about here. It's but 40 the court pages is aware, long. As Judge Berman wrote that rarely 
um, are uh, the, this great deference given to arbitrators, but the court finds that Brady had no notice that he could receive a four-game suspension for general awareness of ball deflation by yeah. others or participation in any such scheme. He also had no notice that his discipline would be the equivalent of the discipline imposed upon a player who used performance-enhancing drugs. And yeah. that was a linkage that Judge Vermin uh, was talking about, was he not in the courtroom, Adam, uh, uh, making the four-game steroid linkage with the four-game uh, suspension brought down by Goodell upon Brady, which, by the way, if you just joined us, has been vacated. Bob, he was openly critical yep. of that particular case. He was offended yep. that Roger Goodell yep. could compare Tom Brady's suspension of deflating footballs, allegedly deflating footballs, to a player's four-game use for using yep. some sort of performance-enhancing device. Exactly. He could not bridge that, and he brought that up. And he brought that up to the NFL attorney, Dan Nash, who had a tough time answering. And he was handed a very tough case, Dan Nash, here. And again, he kept falling back, the NFL attorney, Dan Nash, on the fact that this is the power that Roger Goodell has. This is the power that the NFLPA signed off on. And yet, Judge Berman continued to throw more and more evidence at him to the point where, when it went into the case, there were a lot of people who questioned and wondered whether Tom Brady had been a part of this scheme. And at the very end, even if the NFL had been handed a victory today, which they were not, they still would have lost because their methods and their procedures yep. all came under fierce questioning exactly. and fierce criticism from a federal judge that they picked, basically. Now we're down to the bold type on page 23. It's the court finds that no player alleged or found to have had a general awareness of the inappropriate ball deflation activities of others or who allegedly schemed with others to let air out of footballs in a championship game and also had not cooperated in an ensuing investigation reasonably could be on notice that their discipline would or should be the same as applied to a player who violated the NFL policy on anabolic steroids and related substances. The judge saying earlier in his decision some of the other uh, things I've had a chance to glance at that basically uh, the uh, the league's drug policy is a one-off as far as notice, that you know going in, if you use a PED, that's established. That's the framework. Four games and then a second offense. There's a table for this, but for deflation or knowledge of deflation, you cannot assume. And so that linkage, that four-game linkage he talked about, he's building his opinion on that right now. And I'll give you another example. Jeffrey Kessler, the NFLP attorney, and the judge both brought this up. The big statement in the appeal that was written by Roger Goodell was that Tom Brady was generally aware. It was written up in the 